It's round eight of the Norway Championship, and uh, finally a stroke of luck for world champion Magnus Carlsen. Uh, in this game, he uh, gives up two pieces for a rook and a pawn. And uh, although the position uh, was uh, somewhat equal in the critical position, uh, Sergei Karakin somehow blundered the entire game. Uh, so let's see the game. d4, knight f6, c4, e6, knight c3, bishop to b4, the names of Indian defense, e3, castles, bishop to d3, d5, c takes d5, e takes d5, knight g to e2, rook to e8, bishop to d2, and now bishop retreats to f8 since the knight isn't pinned anymore, white castles, b6, preparing to develop the bishop, rook to c1, c5, knight to f4, bishop to b7, queen to f3, uh, knight to a6, rook f to d1, c takes d4, e takes d4, knight to c7, maneuvering the knight, bishop to c2, bishop to d6, bishop to e3, uh, knight e4, bishop to a4, attacking the rook, rook to e7, bishop to b3, queen to d7, h3, knight takes on c3, b takes on c3, bishop to c6, and now knight to h5. Karakin plays rook to e6, bishop to c2, and now bishop a4. c4, d takes c4, and now e5. Uh, attacking the rook. Karakin plays rook to g6, and here Carlson plays bishop to d4, attacking the pawn on g7. Karakin takes the bishop uh, on c2, rook takes bishop on c2, and now queen to a4, attacking the rook. Rook back to c1, and now Karakin takes the pawn on a2. And here Carlson gives up his p, uh, gives up, uh, gives up two pieces uh, for the rook and the pawn. Knight takes g7, rook takes on g7, and bishop takes g7. King takes on g7, queen to g4, king to f8, queen to h4, queen to, uh, queen to b2, rook takes on c4, knight to e8, knight, uh, rook to e1, and now queen to f6, uh, trying to exchange queens. Uh, Carlson takes on h7, uh, again trying to exchange, exchange queens with uh, queen g7, queen to c2, queen to f6, rook to g4, bishop to c5, protecting the pawn on f2, rook to e2, queen, h4, uh, queen h6, g3, knight to f6, attacking the rook, Rook to h4, queen to g7, and uh, king to g2. Uh, queen to g5, and this is the critical position on move 41. Uh, they just reached uh, time control, and uh, here the position is uh, dead equal. Uh, maybe the computer will give white a slight edge, but uh, all in all, it's an equal position. And uh, here, Karakin should have played uh, the engine suggest queen to g7. And uh, that's an okay position to play, but Karakin totally missed uh, a, a tactic. And uh, plays bishop to d6. And here, uh, black is simply lost. Uh, Carlson plays rook to h8 check, knight to g8, covering up. And here, the very nice rook to e4. And uh, here, uh, probably, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe bishop back to c5 or something. Uh, but Karakin plays bishop, uh, queen to g7, uh, trying to exchange the queens, missing yet another tactic. Uh, Carlson takes. Uh, rook takes on g8 check, and uh, in this position, actually, Karakin resigned. 
because uh, if the king captures on g8, then simply rook to g4. If king captures, rook to g4 wins the queen. And uh, if uh, if the queen captures, then queen to f6, attacking the bishop. And after the bishop moves, rook to g4, attacking the queen. Only move queen to h7, and now d6, and this is completely winning. Uh, if rook d8, then d7. So yeah, uh, finally, a uh, win for the world champion Magnus Carlsen. Uh, he is now, uh, I think he is uh, at uh, three and a half points. And uh, yeah, he has one more game to go. Uh, Vladimir Kramnik lost, uh, lost this round, so uh, he, uh, Carlsen isn't in any immediate danger of uh, losing his number one spot. But yeah, although it was a dead equal position, uh, Karakin blundered the entire game away, and uh, maybe maybe Karakin will be responsible for Megan Carlson not having the worst tournament of his life. So yeah, that's the game. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, see you soon.